this is an ultrasound study of a 15 years old boy presenting with the history of uh, PEO for the last two years. His first ever ultrasound. So let's uh, let share with you. This is the liver, left lobe of the liver. This is the right lobe of the liver, and here what you are seeing is. that the portal vein is showing cavernous transformation or recanalization. This is very typical of uh, portal vein, chronic portal vein thrombosis. This is the portal vein main trunk entering the room and here you can see it is being recanalized. There are, uh, you can see tubular structures radiating from it and uh, this is the gallbladder around above uh, and uh, this is what you are seeing is the recanalization or uh, Cavernous transformation of the photo in that we name it as call it in chronic thrombosis. Now you see these, these tubular structures are suggestive of portal vein thrombosis. This is around the Petasaba. I am showing you from different angles. There is no focal in seen in the liver, though diffuse, decreased parenchyma lipogenicity is seen. And you can see that the portal vein being transformed into tubular structures, recanalization. And uh, if you see this area of the portal vein, which is uh, at the region of the porta hepatis, it is uh, not clear. It is full of uh, ecogenic material, which is again suggestive of clot formation in this uh, 15 years old boy. Now, this is the spleen, and just see that. Spleen is a rise. relatively decreased ecogenicity as if you are seeing a case of subclinic fibrosis or some granulomatous disorder. This is the left hemidiaphragm and this is its dimension from pole to pole 20 centimeters uh, it measures from pole to pole and the normal should not exceed more than 12. And uh, in width, in width, it spans seven centimeters. So we can say that uh, it should now, in width, the supreme should not exceed more than six centimeters. And here it is seven centimeters, so, Again, now its higher region shows this is the higher region, and uh, this is the portal vein. Sorry, it's a clinic vein, and you do not see the clear lumen of the subclinic vein. This is the subclinic vein. The subclinic vein is dilated up to 14.8 millimeters. Normal should not exceed more than uh, 10 millimeters, and we are seeing 14.8 mm, mm dilated subclinic vein. With that is full of echoes, 
the lumen is not clear, it is normally it is as clear as you see this black area. So there is again thrombosis in this region. And uh, so this is a case of chronic thrombosis as a Holtrubain thrombosis <coughs> because of which we see all these pathologies. Rest of there are no lymph nodes. I have seen that, and uh, there is no ascites seen. And the main pathology is that of the chronic photoembolosis, leading to splenomegaly with diffuse, decreased parenchymal epigenicity or that of the spleen and the reason why you can see that minor, minor uh, tiny particles within the sand like particles shining within the splenic parenchyma and this is uh, seen in uh, also seen in uh, granulomatous disorders as well as in splenic fibrosis uh, any condition that causes splenic fibrosis and the other pathology is related to Again, the same that I have informed you, that is the recanalization of the photo vein. This is the photo vein, and you can see that the lumen is so narrow. And uh, these are the tubular structures that is the formation or transformation of the photo vein into. Uh, and portrovane being uh, trans transformed into cavernous shape and uh, other term you can use is recanalization of the portrovane. Thank you very much. Now in all, the, all such cases we should also see the IVC and uh, the hepatic veins because of uh, the rule of Bhattacharya syndrome. Here you can see that uh, the hepatic veins are violized clearly and the IVC is also seen and uh, this rules out any possibility of but carry syndrome here you see this is the IVC here, here you are seeing this is the IVC and uh, these are the hepatic veins So it proves out what Charlie said. Thank you.